everyone and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we do all things tech. Today we're going to take a look at an exciting new Linux release. OpenSUSE is well known in the Linux community as providing one of the best, most well-rounded um, and uh, most featureful Linux distributions out there. Well, they flipped the switch again and came out with something absolutely interesting and we're going to take a look at it today. They just uh, released OpenSUSE version 42.1, also called OpenSUSE Leap. There's a big difference in this one, as opposed to the past community-driven versions of OpenSUSE. This version of OpenSUSE pulls its sources from SUSE Enterprise Linux, or SLE. More specifically, uh, the sources in version 42.1 Leap come from SUSE's soon-to-be-released SLE uh, 12 service pack 1. So what they've really done here is they've combined, kind of created a hybrid uh, between the enterprise version and the community version. Uh, their claim is that it will have unparalleled stability and performance while still uh, gaining the benefits from uh, community driven distribution. And uh, as we'll see soon, I think they've really hit the ball out of the park on this one. So let's log in and see what it looks like. Login screen is quite uh, quite plain. We are going to take a look at the Plasma desktop version. There's two versions that ship, uh, GNOME and the Plasma desktop. OpenSUSE initially, at least years ago I remember, were very um, adamant about creating the best GNOME experience out there, but uh, since the advent of um, Plasma, they've also created a fantastic uh, desktop. This is the default desktop. I think it's very clean, very well laid out, which is typical of an OpenSUSE uh, distribution. Uh, if you haven't seen Plasma 5 before, uh, it was quite buggy in the beginning on the previous releases, but it's become quite usable desktop right now. Tons of features and I've grown to like it quite a bit. I'm not saying it's my favorite desktop environment. I still kind of lean towards Cinnamon, but uh, this desktop environment's quite well. We can see right here that the software updater is informing us that there's a new update. So we can take care of that later. We'll take a look after and I'll show you exactly how that works. Uh, some of the features uh, in this release, because this is definitely a new direction that OpenSUSE is taking with this release, it's uh, an attempt to bond the community development and the enterprise reliability. In this uh, version 42.1, again, uses the sources from OpenSUSE Linux Enterprise, or SLE. Uh, there's a lot of packages that have changed. There is a new version of the YAST system administrator tool, which in my opinion is one of the best in the Linux world. Uh, KDE Plasma 5.4 and GNOME 3.16 are included. And uh, more information, of course, can be found at, on the OpenSUSE website. Um, updates, uh, definitely guaranteed, as they'll be coming from the SLE, the Enterprise Edition. Uh, they'll be, uh, they will uh, come down on a regular basis for the maintenance updates. And, uh, of course, um, this version being a bridge really between enterprise and community will benefit uh, from that effort. So here we go. We're going to give it a, a, a start. Again, the Plasma 5 desktop, very clean. Uh, this, by the way, is the same desktop you're going to see in the KDE uh, Plasma and the GNOME desktops. This one thing I always liked about OpenSUSE is that their care to detail is in both GUIs, whether you're using KDE, in this case Plasma 5 or GNOME, uh, the desktop experience is, is very similar. You can see that uh, the attention to detail in both uh, GUI environments is excellent and very meticulous, which is something that sets, I think, OpenSUSE apart from a lot of other distributions in that they uh, will concentrate on one GUI and everybody else will get like the plain vanilla just include it to say they have included it. Well, OpenSUSE has never been like that. They really uh, do pay attention to the two GUIs that they um, provide in their distribution. So let's get started. Of course, we saw that um, 
the update manager was telling us we had an update simply click on it it'll tell you exactly it's a security security sorry update for pull kit and we would just simply just install the updates it's that simple uh, I like that functionality and being that it is based on enterprise Linux uh, we should get uh, security updates on a very regular basis uh, once again OpenSUSE claiming that um, this change for 42.1 leap uh, will also uh, result in greater stability and I, I don't doubt what they're saying either updates installed successfully installed one package your system is up to date that quick uh, of course we have the uh, the networks wired is connected of course there's airplane mode great for mobile devices your audio volume your location all in all a very clean and functional desktop I'm actually excited about this release uh, for various reasons which I'll mention later we have home um, uh, we've seen many times uh, file managers such as this one very capable very able it shows all of our hard drives it shows everything that needs to be shown you can uh, go through your network of course your trash bin right there which is just basically another folder um, SUS ships with Firefox as its default web browser which is good in most distributions except a few you'll see either Firefox or uh, Google Chrome as your default a few others will use others Midori and whatnot but uh, OpenSUSE prefers to stick with the tried and true we have um, uh, transmission going into the internet uh, subdirectory here we have uh, transmission aggregator for news cloud storage manager uh, an interesting app that will allow you to connect to various uh, cloud storage uh, services online and uh, basically aggregate them into one uh, app here we have the Mozilla Firefox started of course with the <laughs> very nice uh, open uh, the SUSE logo here and you could start from their start page of course that's configurable to go to whatever you'd like it to be again continue it's it's basically uh, your basic KDE apps with a few open source uh, things thrown in um, nothing much to see here other than I have to say that you can be from my experience with this distribution and most other open source um, releases from the time from installation to becoming uh, completely uh, functional uh, is very short uh, they include the necessary software I've, um, in this release I found it uh, almost not necessary at all to install anything else to become productive immediately after installation uh, runs very well so far office we have LibreOffice included this is very good so we have all the necessary stuff to uh, get started right away contact manager K organizer mail address book document viewers of course and other one, Microsoft Doc Word View, Microsoft Office Document Viewer. That's included, of course. OpenSUSE uh, being well known to have been um, the distribution of choice in many companies in Europe and abroad. So, as a business desktop, the uh, background is there for sure. System, we have Yast, of course, which we'll get into. Uh, Dolphin is their file manager of choice, which I showed before. Disk view, backups, uh, everything your manager printing to add printers, uh, everything in uh, this this uh, system, as I can see, is absolutely great in terms of uh, becoming productive almost immediately after installation. Um, we have uh, utilities, of course, Qt4 settings, screen reader, weather a few other odds and ends that are in there here we have the cups for adding printers there's also in yes there's another utility that we can uh, manage our printers and print jobs so we have a lot of things in here that are very uh, relevant and very useful for the person who wants to just install this and go uh, there's one thing I have to say uh, there are a number of Linux distributions 
here's the other uh, tool for printer installation and managing printer and print jobs. There's a there's a there's a lot of installations of OpenSUSE in the world, and one thing I've noticed um, with OpenSUSE and why it's be, it's so popular is not necessarily uh, what you may think. It's when it comes to people being familiar or non-familiar with using computers, OpenSUSE really goes that extra mile in terms of the functionality of it right out of the box. It's not too far off from what other people may have come from, for example, using Plasma 5 in the Windows world where you have your start button here and all your apps and whatnot. What I'm trying to say is, uh, soon after opening OpenSUSE, um, everything becomes silent in the room because you just become productive almost immediately. It's just a well put together system that does what it's supposed to do with stability, with speed. It's obviously uh, working quite well. I have no issues with the performance of it. It's got a great pedigree. With power, utilities, of course. Now we're going to get into YAST. YAST is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, management um, applications for all things to do with your system. As we see here, we'll see here, we have, of course, if it's all done in category view, we have, we can either go and just like the categories here, we can look, we have add-on products, media check, online update, uh, software management, of course, printer, scanner, system keyboard, sound, sysconfig editor, network, bootloader, kernel settings, fonts, services manager, partitioner, authentication client, network services, NIS client, NTP configuration, mail server, remote administrator, Samba server. You see, some server functionality is definitely included, even though this is considered a desktop release, they still include uh, some server functionality. Uh, App Armor, of course, your firewall, security and hardening, sudo, user and group management, hypervisor and tools. Install Zen or KVM with management tools. This is very interesting. You can run virtual machines on top of your OpenSUSE install and do it quite easily through YAS Control Center as opposed to uh, having to hit the command line like crazy and, um, you know, really, it really takes that layer of away and will allow uh, a user with uh, moderate Linux experience to get things done a lot quicker. Um, relocation server configuration, release notes of course, and then we have um, uh, miscellaneous tools here. So you can see that all, all the things we have here are pretty much, I would have to say, uh, the vast majority of what any user would have to um, configure on their system and do it quite simply from a, uh, a great uh, GUI interface. YAST is well known to be one of the finest system configurator uh, in the Linux world and it continues to be so. Um, OpenSUSE continues to refine and add and sometimes take away unneeded uh, functionality and add proper functionality, always tweaking it. This is um, really a tour de force. Um, and one of the things that I think, one of, if not one of the most important things for new users to Linux, they will get in here and it's it's just so simple. Everything about it. Here we have our services manager, for example. It's showing me all the services, enabled, active. I can, you know, show details of each service. It'll tell me information. Yes, that might not be for the average user, but at least the functionality is there and it allows me to change things quite simply. Set up mail server, of course, app armor, as I said before. This is interesting, of course, install hypervisor. How simple is this? Which one do you want? You want Zen, you want the Zen tools, KVM, KVM tools, libvrt, X, LXC, daemon. Uh, select which one you want and uh, click OK, accept, and it will download and install all those tools and uh, their manage if you also install their management uh, items it'll appear and you'll be able to manage those hypervisors and run uh, virtual machines on your desktop I'm very impressed so far everything seems to work great 
There's games. I'm not a big fan of these uh, chintzy little games here, but they are included. Gimp, LibreOffice, Draw, Shotwell. Uh, there's a few items I would probably install, but not much because it really comes loaded with uh, quality software. It doesn't have, for example, uh, 10 different uh, video players or media players or 10 different um, tools for want to do one job. Mostly, mostly it's one proper tool to do the job correctly, a job, but of course you still have the option to install whatever you'd like. And that's up to you. That's another. And it's quite simple to do. Here we have the software management tool. It The one negative I've had to say about the software management tool and a few of the other tools is they do take time to load, but what they're doing is they're going out and refreshing uh, the repositories uh, to see exactly what's available um, uh, on an up-to-minute basis. So it's a positive thing what it's doing. It just takes uh, may take a little while after you start it to get it done depending on I have a very good internet connection here but of course the internet is not just about you it's also where you're going through and sometimes it does take a while to load everything now here it goes it's loaded and I can look for software I can look in RPM groups of course installation summary so I can say okay I want action arcade game shooter game what's available breakout other I can go sc scroll down to uh, different groups, tools, GUI builders, debuggers. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's categorized. It, not the easiest tool to use, but still a very powerful tool. Of course, we go to web browsers, all of them that are available. Chromium right here. Uh, desktop for GNOME, I can just install basic Chromium. And it's just, just a simple click and accept, and uh, it will be done. So all in all, in this quick overview of OpenSUSE, I'd have to say that uh, if they haven't hit a home run, they've, uh, they've hit pretty close. It's quite a beautiful release. Time will tell to see if this hybrid really lives up to its claim as being uh, more stable and yet uh, still uh, getting a lot of the benefits that SUSE Enterprise Linux does in terms of updates and maintenance. So time will tell. Uh, I think it's a great choice. They do straddle the line between community and enterprise version quite well, at least from what I can see right now. It's uh, definitely a polished release, as most, most SUS uh, releases are. Performance is good. Uh, I'd love to test this on real hardware, which I will very soon. In a virtual machine, it runs fantastically. No complaints whatsoever. And that's it. Give it a try. This is definitely worth downloading and trying. Try it first in a virtual machine. If you like it, put it on real hardware. Get back to us. Tell us what you think. Once again, we want to thank you for watching this video. This is a quick overview and review of the latest, exciting OpenSUSE 42.1 Leap Linux distribution. And we thank you for supporting our um, efforts here on YouTube. And we'd ask you to look down below to the links to our other areas of presence on the Internet. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And please leave comments and um, go out there and tell people about us. And if you like us, please subscribe. Take care. Thank you very much.